Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with uh, a very different kind of video. Not a gotcha video this time, it's actually time for another story. Yeah, that's right, it's story time with Wookie. Why is it coming back at this exact moment? Well, the reason is, is that it's really hot, and it's making it very hard for me to actually find any motivation um, to play any of my gotchas. Um, maybe that's also a little bit of the fact that I'm, I'm very tired. I really can't explain it, I haven't been sleeping very well. So I figure I'm just going to tell you a story. Hopefully a fun little story and I hope you like it. Um, Alright, let's get into it. So this story specifically, I remember, I it, it's recently come back into my head because of all the corona stuff. And I'm remembering like, oh, you don't go to the beach. So this is specifically a story about me and the beach. Um, this had to have happened maybe when I was... Hmm, maybe 13 or so? The beach is very weird to me because growing up to the beach, I remember there being entire times with my family where I was like, I don't know if it's similar for you guys in the family, but when we went to the beach, it was a full family affair. And I'm, I'm from an Hispanic family, so it was like my mom, my dad, my mom's sister, my mom's other sister, my mom's brother, and my dad, all my dad's brothers uh, lived in El Salvador, so they didn't come with us. But like my grandma, everyone that was, uh, my cousins, absolutely everyone went to the beach um so in my mind the beach was always a very chaotic place where you brought a lot of people um but this specific story a friend of ours my mom's friend um she used to work in a hair salon and she knew this really nice lady who i can't remember the name here at the moment but she was extremely nice um uh she offered to take me and my sister to the beach and this is back when nux was like i think still a baby so he couldn't come with us to the beach but instead um my sister brought our cousin um who well, i'm not gonna say her name but she brought our cousin uh they used to be attached to the hip to each other when they were little because you know one both of them were girls and one was born uh, my sister was born i think a year earlier so she clung to my sister because she was a cool one but anyway we all went to the beach and I'm at the age now at, I don't know, it's been a very long time, but if you've ever been to the beach and if you've never been to the beach, but also I, I live in California. So when we go to the beach, it is when it's hot. And I guess I've never fully understood why you go to the beach when it's hot because the beach is ungodly like hot, right? Um, I don't understand. I've actually, now that I think about it, I've never fully understood why you go to the beach when it's hot to i guess jump in the ocean but the ocean sucks because it's full of salt water um and then when you're going to the beach i okay here's the reveal i think i don't actually like going to the beach i like the part where you're hanging out at the waves um but the part where you're actually like the entire process of it like actually getting to the waterfront sucks um all the freaking like seaweed and shit that you touch when you're going into the uh, into the water uh, really sucks. All the weird, like, algae stuff that's left and is dying because it's not near the water, that also sucks. Anyway, um, I'm at the beach, I'm chilling at the beach. Uh, at some point I realized I need to go to the bathroom. Um, but when you're going through the beach, the thing that sucks is that it makes you fall deep into the sand. Um, Especially if you're wearing shoes, in which I had shoes. I didn't wear sandals because, I don't know, I was a dumb little kid and I was like, I don't believe in sandals. Um, I still don't own a pair of sandals, but that's beside the point. So I was like, alright. I At this point, I had taken off my shoes and everything because I was like, if I'm going to enjoy the beach, I'm going to fully enjoy the beach by just having no... Um, I also didn't want to get my socks wet either. So that was another thing of like, I didn't want any of that to be badly damaged or anything. Um... So I said, all right, so the bathroom's all the way up there, up the beach side, so I have to go walk over there. Um, at this point, you can tell where the story's going. I decide to leave my shoes and my socks at where we're at our blanket, um, where my mom's friend is chilling. Because I was like, ah, it's a fast enough walk. I can easily go. It's not that bad. Um, about two minutes into the journey... Um, my bare feet touching the very, 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 very hot sand. Because as I remind you, it's an extremely hot day in California. It's the reason why we're at the beach. Um, it was unbelievable. I feel like at two minutes in, I was starting to get like blisters. But then for some reason, I looked back and I was like, oh, it would be such a hassle to actually walk back there. So whatever, I'll keep moving forward. 
about four minutes into the journey, I am trying to run to shades where I can rest my feet. Because now not only am I tired from walking in the beach, I'm tired because every single step of the beach is pure agony. Like I am in so much pain walking. It's unbelievable. Uh, And also like my feet are just so, it's (laughs) at this point almost, it's taking me an extremely long time to get there. Um, I think when I start my journey to the bathroom, there's also an urgency of I need to badly go to the bathroom. This is the reason why I'm going there is because I need to go to the bathroom. So I have this unfortunate side effect of I want to stop, but at the same time, if I stop, I feel like I'm going to crap my pants and I can't crap my pants. Not in front, not, not like this. Um, so I push through, hurts a shit ton. I get to the stall. Um, I use the bathroom. By the way, here's the thing I forgot. Yeah, the sand is hot. Hot pavement? 10 times fucking worse than the hot sand. Because now my feet are touching, my bare feet are touching hot ass pavement. Um, I feel like I'm dying. I'm quickly going to the bathroom and then I'm also trying to get to the, um, to a water fountain to sp- put some damn water on my feet just to give something to just ca- try and cool it down. So I'm like, okay. Oh God. I've, I've rested up. I've used the bathroom. I go, I got to go back. I got to go back to where I go. Um, I have to go back to where it all began. So I start making my trip back. Uh, the pain is too much. And I find a platform that I can sit on. Um, I'm literally like, I'm dead tired. I cannot make it anymore. The pain is too much. I go to the platform. I sit on the platform. And now I'm stranded because I've lost all ability to actually move my body. I'm just so, I'm in so much pain and it hurts so much. I'm so tired. Uh, I can't move forward. So, and also (laughs) at this point, I think my feet are extremely burnt up. And at this point, it has to be scabs in some way, not scabs, but you know, that feeling when it's like blisters, blisters are the words. So I have blistered feet now. Um, and it can't, it does not feel good. Um, here's the other thing. The place where I'm at, uh, the place where I'm sitting at is in view of where I need to go. So that therefore my mom's friend can see me. So I try and like get her attention and finally she looks my way and I throw up the SOS hands going like, God, hey, help, help, help. I'm like yelling help, but she can't hear me. She sees me put my hands up in the air. Um, and she thinks I'm saying hello. So she very kindly waves back at me and I go, no, no, no. And then she goes, oh yeah, hi. And then she looks away and I go, oh no, she thought, no, that's not good. So at this point, um, my sister, uh, Yaoi mom, she w- walks up and cause she now needs to use the bathroom. She's been playing in the ocean this entire time with my cousin. She goes, why are you here? Because you've been here for, like, I think, hours. And I said, I can't move. Like, I, I didn't bring any socks. I didn't bring my shoes. I need you to go get my shoes. And she's like, I have to use the bathroom. But also, the part I'm neglecting to say is that she's laughing her ass off the second I tell her, I'm basically stranded here. I need help. Um, I said, you need to give me back my shoes and my socks. Uh, and she's laughing. She's like, okay, after I use the bathroom. She goes to use the bathroom. I see her walk... After she's done to the bathroom, she starts to walk back to where she is. She sees me. I said, remember, bring it. And she starts laughing. She's like, yeah, I'll bring it. Two hours pass. I am still stranded. My sister has on purpose chosen not to get my shoes and my socks and is just leaving me there. So now I'm just angry at my sister for leaving me behind on this specific little strand of Oasis. And that anger is enough for making me go, I need to go yell at her. So I get up, I basically crawl my ass through the sand, half of the, half the time running, and then the second I run, falling into the sand and then continuing the journey, um, I finally reach my shoes and socks, and then I go, did my sister tell you anything about what happened to me? She goes, no. And I go, great. So then I go to my sister who's playing in the ocean, and I basically yell at her out. She doesn't care because she's laughing the entire time, but I am so screaming angry at her and then finally i go back and i sit down on the beach towel and that's the end of my beach story right there we eventually leave 
And I would not return to the beach again until I was in high school and we went there for a class field trip, which was another special um, kind of beach story because I got to sit next to a lady who I really liked, a girl. Um, but I was at that weird age where I didn't understand if being nice was the same as having romantic feelings for. So I, she was also very pretty and I'm not the most handsome looking guy so i was always like she's not really that interested to me thinking back though there were plenty of times where she was like extremely into what i was doing because mainly I, the, the here's the thing if you're not the best looking dude it doesn't matter if you can make a girl laugh um some girls will obviously not care about that you know can't be helped but if you're a good enough dude there are genuinely girls who don't care um even if there are plenty of people who you know, unfortunately have to deal with the latter. Um, to a certain extent, it is confidence. And the only one thing I am confident in is my ability to make other people laugh. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> the thing I always remember from that story was... So we went to the beach. Like I said, she's an extremely attract attractive girl. The girl that I'm sitting next to. So I'm like, okay. Um, a lot of the girls had planned to go in swimwear. Uh, she was planning it as well. And then I remember when I was sitting next to her, she was like, I was like, oh, then you're all ready for the beach. And she goes, yep. Um, <laughs> so we get off the bus. Everyone's out going to have fun. And then I'm going to go eat a hot dog. And at that point, that's when I learned that apparently um, she was wearing a very big shirt. And then the reason I learned why is that she was actually not allowed to... While I was going off to t uh, eat um, the hot dog, there was a brief moment where she removed the shirt to to wear uh, to uh, you know to enjoy the beach in her swimwear. It is California, that's so what you do. Uh, at this point, everyone's eighteen, so it's fun. In, in in the story of my mind, I'm in high school. This is a twelfth grade. Everything's eighteen, so it's all right. Um, and she was forced to put back on the shirt <laughs> by the teachers uh, for her exact words and from what other boys told me who were there at the specific scene um a little bit too risky for high schooler teachers to allow her to keep the shirt on so specifically the female teachers there had to talk to her and said can you please put the shirt back on it's a little bit too much and she goes oh uh, sorry about that and to be fair i think uh, this is something she always dealt with i think later on she would always talk about it. she would eventually tell me this which i feel is like a really like it was really weird mainly because i was like well i well this is a good thing to learn but she would always tell me that she always had back problems um and that she was going to look for later in life to have breast reduction surgery because she said like this shit just sucks man like i need to dip, put a handle on these things i said yeah you should i agree tell me more about them because i'm <laughs> i'm in high school and i'm extremely interested in this uh that's the end of story time those are my my basic uh, beach stuff i will say also um just to end it on a wholesome note when i was a kid going to the beach with my family i also the, another reason i hated the beach is that apparently my dad if you tr if you believe in what my dad says which i do personally um he was going to be chosen as the he was going to go to the olympics for el salvador in swimming and so that was his excuse for saying like because i was always like dad why do you actually jump into the water it's the ocean isn't that scary he's like no it's whatever i was going to be in the el salvadorian swim team for the olympics i can handle any any water uh mijo I'm like okay um one time oh, so at the ocean at at the beach i saw my dad go into the water and then 30 minutes passed and i did not see my dad again and so at this point i told my mom I'm like mom where's dad and then my mom's like in the ocean i'm like mom who spends 30 minutes in the ocean he's like your father does i'm like that's don't you think you should call a rescue team don't you think that's a little bit too long there's sharks in the water i'm now seven in this specific story um and she goes no your dad's always been fine don't worry you worry too much and I go, okay. And two hours pass. He has not come up. And now I'm starting to freak out. And so I go closer to the water. And as I get closer to the water, the the thing my parents always told me is like, don't go near the water because if you get caught by the drift, you will drown. 
Uh, I guess they told me specifically because I'm like bad at, at uh, swimming, so whatever. Um, I'm like, I can't see him. I don't know if I have to tell someone that I think my dad is missing in the water. And as I'm going back to tell my mom one more time, he's like, I think we have to call someone for dead. My dad freaking walks out like fucking David Hasselhoff out of the water. And he's like, oh, hey. I'm like, dad. He's like, uh, he's like you're back. He's like, yeah, I'm hungry. Where, where the sandwich? And <laughs> so he came back for a sandwich. And then after the sandwich was done, he went back into the ocean. And I did not see him again until it was time to go home. Oh, all right. Now that, that's the official end of story time. Now that I've ended it on a wholesome note, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I like telling stories, especially when there's really nothing to do. Um, that and when I'm not feeling the best on actually recording, I still feel like releasing something for you guys. So hopefully, to the select people who watch this, I hope you enjoy it. So until next time, everyone. Bye bye. Have a good day, and remember, stay safe and don't go outside unless you're wearing a mask. Please. I care too much about you. <laughs>